everyone. My name's Christina, and I'm Natalia's younger sister. So growing up, Natalia had an older brother, Chris, and a younger brother, Daniel. She would beg my mom in hopes of having a baby sister. So when I was born, she was excited. <laughs> she thought she was so lucky to have a sister. She would dress me up, practice her makeup on me, cut my bangs, and curl my hair, which was never a good idea. <laughs> But she would also tell me about all of her dating experiences. So, Andrew, I know more than you think. <laughs> so, Natalia and Andrew's, Andrew's love story. They met when they were their first year in college. Only after one month of dating, Andrew proposed. My family thought this was crazy. <laughs> um, but Natalia and Andrew both knew that they were the ones for each other. Um, Andrew would come over pretty often, so naturally, we put him to work. He would cook dinner for our family. He would help me with my math homework because young Christina did not understand trigonometry. He would help my dad around the house with whatever he needed, and it was honestly very nice to have an extra little man help around the house. <laughs> but our family knew he was the one because Every time Andrew and Natalia went on a date, my parents forced Andrew to take me and Daniel on these dates as well. So imagine that. Every time they went on a date, they had to drag along these two little kids. <laughs> but honestly, I don't think Andrew minded at all. He loved us like his own siblings. So all in all, Natalia always thought she was so blessed to have a baby sister. But what she doesn't know is I'm the one who's truly blessed. The older I get, the more I realized how special a sister bond is, and I am so, so thankful to have her as my best friend. <laughs> um, Natalia and Andrew do have a love that I have never seen before. <laughs> they are truly, truly infatuated with one another. Whatever life throws at them, and I mean whatever life throws at them, they somehow end up falling more and more in love with each other. You guys truly do define for better or for worse. Andrew, welcome to our crazy family. <laughs> and we kindly, kindly ask you to take care of our little Natalia. Everyone in this room loves you both so much. And we wish you both a life full of health, happiness, and love. Cheers to the beautiful, beautiful newly couple. Love you guys. I'd hate to follow that up. <laughs> so my name's Robert. For those, of you, for those of you who don't know me, I've been Drew's friend for about 15 years now. And when Drew was picking his best man, first he chose his most handsome best man. <laughs> but sadly, he turned him down. <laughs> then he chose his funniest best man. Uh, but sadly, he also couldn't make it. <laughs> And then he, he called me and asked me to be his best man. And sadly, I couldn't turn him down a third time. <laughs> <laughs> so I've known Drew for about 15 years, and we've grown from awkward teenagers to slightly less awkward adults <laughs> during that time. And there's a lot of tales I would like to share with you here today, but um, instead of boring you with all these tales of old, um, I would just like to focus on the better stories that are yet to come and wish the happy couple a bright and prosperous future together. So congratulations, <laughs> Drew and Natalia McCarthy. Okay, well, Andrew, I want to thank everyone for coming, especially my work people. Hi. <laughs> um, Andrew's work friends. Hi. Gabby, I'm so glad you can make it. I hope you're feeling okay. <laughs> um, but we just want to thank everyone for coming and being here and celebrating this like, special day with us. And we couldn't be more than happy for all of you guys coming, you know, being together for us. It is truly a miracle to see everyone here that was able to make it here. Um, 
for all the ones that didn't show up, you know, I will be following up with them, making sure that they uh, understand that uh, they missed quite a great thing here. But I know they're here with us in spirit. So for all of you that didn't come here, and I know some of you came from pretty far places, uh, I can't express how grateful I am for you guys to be here because you've all been part of my life, regardless of how little or how much. And you're all my family, so thank you so much.